Okay, welcome back, people. It has been since Monday. I did manage to record Monday. Then we had Thanksgiving and festivities and family over and the whole nine yards. So I've just now been able to get back to it, but it's Saturday. It's 5 p.m. The docket's mostly cleared. So my only real focus today is playing this and maybe beating it, potentially beating it. We'll see. Um, I'm going to go check on the wizard van because I think maybe it'll flip. We need to make some hard decisions today on who's staying, who's going. And I found out something. One of the characters did have plague immunity, which I didn't mean to uh, check. So, whoops, my bad. So people should be able to get sick now. I'm not sure how that happened, but it did. And that explains why Oz was refusing to get sick. I know she's good, but she wasn't supposed to be that good. So, my bye. So we need to think about things. We need to get this base going. That's the big thing. What's What's difficult about homecoming is that it's not just let's beat all the hearts and let's get this legacy done today. We need to actually get the missions going. There's freaking hostile survivors here. This doesn't even make sense. I've been playing Halo. Halo Infinite is pretty good. It's got shitty progression. I want to talk about that in a video, but I'll tell you what, I've now got to try to get myself back in the state of decay. Mindset. What's going on here? Because it really seemed like there was... I was getting shot at. And now I'm not. Okay, one guy's already died somehow. There's always so many zombies on radar these days. It's pretty crazy, yo. We're getting back in the swing of things fairly quick, though. Just use the pyro launcher. Rule number one. Use the pyro launcher. Learn how to only shoot one round. This is good, though, because this just gets rid of a hostile enclave. We're going to have to kill him regardless. <clears throat> I'd uh, much rather deal with the undead than NPCs. That is for sure. Now that's one where it really should have defaulted to... Oh, fuck. Fast animation. I think I'm stuck. Oh, I got out of it, but... Not without taking lots of unnecessary damage. And I ran out with no healing items being dumb. Now I'm being really dumb. Taking all kinds of damage for no reason. Let's just get her back to base, damn it. <clears throat> and grab Oz, and yeah. That's awful. That's awful. No, it's not. They were shooting us, people. This is the home base? Why does it seem so small now? We cleared some hearts, though. I know the last time we played, we actually had a pretty productive session. There's a lot of hearts out there. Good God, I'm not going to come any closer to beating it, so... By waiting around, we might as well just start clearing hearts. That's the next big thing. Get this base built up, and let's start clearing hearts. We've got <clears throat> quite a bit of crafting um, supplies. I think our one limitation might actually start to become rucksacks, but I'm pretty sure we're, we're pretty well supplied on jugs of ether or ethanol and chemicals and parts. Like, that's all, all coming together. We should do some looting. Let's start clearing some sections of the map out, especially uh, Marshall. We're fairly close to Marshall, right? Computer textbook, that's not bad. Especially if we were struggling right now. Okay, yeah, let's get her switched out. And, oh, damn, we're sitting on a bunch. I didn't even realize. In fact, yeah, that's right. I didn't do uh, what we needed to do, which is that there is tons and tons and tons of... Uh, well, not tons and tons and tons, but quite a bit of resources that we left behind... You know what? This will be worth it. Having the sheriff and the refugee clinic. 
because we can uh, actually get leg immunity without any cheesiness. Let's go with... I mean, I'd rather take Oz, but she's exhausted. Let's take Emma out. Get a hero bonus? She does. Let's take Emma out. She's buff. Man, update 28, I'm super pumped. Something that I've been talking about is going to come to the game, and that's uh, Field of View. Something that I would like to see, wanted to see. I'm sure a lot of people did, too. And enough people that Undead Labs is going to change it, so hell yeah. I think I heard a blood see, I'm from OHIO, <clears throat> so everything is a bit down right now. So I'll take what I can get. We just lost to that team up north, which is just miserable. I have powerhouse. I'm trying to see. Nope, I don't. Shit. I should not have been trying to kick that thing. I'm pretty sure I have what is largely... Man, I wish that was a, a sidearm. <clears throat> that would be instantaneously best sidearm in the game. We got the Echo. Oh. What the hell's he doing there? Oh, I don't think he can get through. Oh, never mind. That's why it pays to have lots of heavy snipers in the base, because those freaking guys. Those guys right there are why. <clears throat> I think we might have to run. I'm struggle busting, man. My words ain't coming out. I'm coughing. It's like I haven't streamed in seven months. We need to go out and do things. Gas. Repair kit. I think that's what I need. That's how I feel about that. I know for sure that we need ammo. That's what I need. Yes, ammo. I know. It's coming back to me now. It's coming back to me. Our plan. We wanted to build up the base and kill some hearts. How are we going to move this thing along today? That's what I got to do. I got a little bit of time. I need to use it. Let's go ahead and get a field hospital. That's big. That's always the first part of the legacy missions. And I didn't want to go that way, but I'm going to have to go that way because... This legacy and we can become immune to the blood plague. I think hey, this is a pretty big base. Wow, <clears throat> there are definitely options. I still need an agriculture expert. So, the biggest thing to do this episode would be getting where did he come from? The Echo S1 revolver is just plain fun to use, man. It's just fun to use. And that's what really matters at the end of the day. I want to get this siege freaking done so I can actually think for two seconds. That's what I want. Holy shit, just stop coming in little dribbles so I can think. I need to craft. That's what we need to do. Craft. Get our fireworks stationing. We can still craft on it in the meantime, can't we? I don't have... I don't think I have the... Uh... Keep holding them off. Do I have striking? Oh, I do have striking. Get down. The creepers are gone. Let's just make sure I didn't play for okay. four days, and it was long enough to just forget everything. Playing Halo for a few days, and now... Oh, this is how this game works? You press X to attack, you crouch. Left thumbstick. Gotta have a farm because we're on the farm. That's important. And so we need to make some cuts today as well. Because the game is being a little weird because of the uh, community editor work that we did, I'm confused on whether or not we're actually... We have knowledge of chemistry, but let me check some things. I know that we have knowledge of uh, pathology, but it seems to me that we're not able to craft any more or knowledge of munitions. We can make ammo, but we lack the labor. Like, I just don't think that knowledge of munitions is helping us much. And we need to get our group down to, like, six people. Thermite bombs, like, whatever. We're going the, uh, as long as we have an igniter, that's all that matters. Knowledge of chemistry. And I think we've already got knowledge of chemistry um, settled with somebody else, I believe. Maybe. Jana might have to go. I always like having a plumber, to be honest with you. Squirrel is our main plumber. The famous, famous squirrel. 
I man, it's a good group. Don't get me wrong. Christian sucks, and I think he's probably the easiest one to like just go ahead and get rid of. And I don't want to kill him in the line of duty. I don't think. We don't even know what his hero bonus is. Yeah, let's get rid of Christian. That that was the first and most easiest one to get rid of. We got to make some pretty hard cuts after that. Which I'll probably not make right now. I'll wait on it just a bit. No, stay here, Christian. I've got to take every chance of survival that you have. In Standard Decay 1, there was always this thing where, like... They could potentially come back to haunt you. I always thought it would be a really cool and interesting feature to make it so that that actually happened. They could like go out and get another enclave and actually attack you, which is something that probably needs to happen state of K3 for sure. Is people actually attack you from other enclaves. You don't have to go out and attack them all the time. But being able to, uh, if you kick somebody, exile people, it should sometimes come at a higher cost. Like if they're... Uh, uh, just, uh, if they're a hero, they take it in stride, but if you bring somebody into your group and then immediately exile them, there probably should be a cost for that. <clears throat> and I changed things on the mage well, so you probably, in, you can see a little bit better at the dusk here, but you're probably in for a very, very, very bright day. I keep doing the bite binders, but I don't think they're actually a part of the Trumbull missions. Okay, I definitely need to grab some meds and not be stupid. You can see we actually got some infection that time, though, so... Good. No more weird. Like, it's probably not even good to watch when the character is literally immune to the blood plague. But while we're out, we need to do some looting, but that'll wait. Uh, let's do a bottle of scent block. I don't necessarily need plague cures. I don't think Betty's are good for taking down jugs. I think we must be out of uh, bloater gas bombs. But let's go ahead and get that done. Wrap some of that shite up. Three chemicals, six plagues. The two gas is what's going to add up. But if I, we play it right, we can get rid of... <clears throat> it should always take three. But if I don't time it correctly, then it gets all messed up. Oz is really the ultimate play guard killer because she has so much inventory space. She did all this work crawling over here. Think about that. that and wow, she got one bite in. Because the camera decided to go completely nuts. So let's do the bite binders. Let's kill some hearts. We got rid of the first person. And that's just one of the goals that we have today. We're going to get rid of the... We're going to cut some fat out of the group. And we're going to... Oh, I say get rid of 90% of the hearts. I, I probably won't kill the last heart. And let's get rid of all these hostile enclaves. In fact, that would be a good way to cut the fat. Is... We could risk... We probably should have taken Christian down there and seen if he could uh, take them on. We don't want to risk somebody important. We need to loot these hearts, too. That's something we can do. Well, for now, we'll do this mission, and if there's hearts... Oh. Oh. I want to do it, though, because I'll probably never remember... I still really like striking, I just wish there were more opportunities to use it, and I still wish that it was a feral killer. Like, it's cool that they made Powerhouse a feral killer, but I still think striking should be a feral killer, because you have to time it. It is a timed skill, and that is still, like, the number one thing I miss from State of Decay 1 is uppercutting a feral and being able to execute. Very, very satisfying. I wonder if the game gets buggy when you put it on really wide field of view, because that's a significant advantage, actually. But with the way the game draws things, I don't know. Like, you might think that you're seeing more, but you're probably not. There's probably things that are actually being instanced in as it happens, which is something we saw, I think, just like the last episode. We had it happen where the zombie bit us as it was drawing in to the game. 
sure it's a little better and they're obviously moving towards state of decay 2 and hopefully this is the way 3 will work making it so that zombies follow a more linear path and don't just randomly spawn in front of you and aren't just congregated wherever you're at but more attracted to noise and focused around population centers that's where they're the most dense and that's where the most valuable loot is so there's like this sort of raid or incursion element to going into the into like marshall because you know it's just going to be full of the undead and you got to be ready it's like going after a heart or a wall but it's going to have the best stuff rather than i'm going to go loot this random barn oh my god there's a huge horde out here for no reason at all i mean like randomly there's going to be hordes but it would make more sense if those areas that are like lower density and there's not as much loot are pretty safe areas that's like a good way for you to start <clears throat> this looks like it's definitely a base oh show tranquility for parking <clears throat> factory incinerator factory storage meditation garden I wonder what that does i haven't even really gotten a good chance to look at this much hey there is a barbecue pit you know what i wonder if real stuff up knowledge of cooking the fact that we have butchery so if this was heartland 100 percent butchery would i think that's what it is or maybe it's like barbecue master i can't remember uh not a latrine do we have any more indoor slots we don't damn that's kind of like the one difficulty here this is an indoor slot I hate to do this, but I think I need to do this. I need to move this outside. <clears throat> this needs to be outside. This needs to be right here. And then we need to put the officer's quarters inside. There we go. That's some more beds. I almost... Oh, especially since we have a plumber. I want to do a latrine, but... The thing about that is that the officer's quarters come basically with a latrine. They're just so good. You get beds. You get a morale bonus. I think we're going to have all the beds we need. So this is actually a great base for a big community. But we we needed cuts because we need recruitment opportunities. And we're not going to get recruitment opportunities till we get down to six. And that's going to be a challenge. And this looks like a good place to start killing hearts too once we do this mission. start to clear marshall out a little bit the hearts are i like the way the hearts have been drawn in the homecoming map though they're they're centered in clusters like we were talking about with the spawns in order to loot these towns properly you gotta I appreciate it. didn't we already do this mission and have the surgeon i think i remember this mission and the deal is we need to just take the guy because he'll literally just stay there he would just stand still and not even defend himself if we don't just grab him. Of course, we're taking probably our third most valuable, in fact, for sure, our third most valuable survivor. Grace, Oz, and then Emma with her pathology and, and her winter camo, which is really the most important thing. It's that cool looking winter camo. All right. I'm on the job. What the hell? Here we go. Why exactly was that bitch not dying? I'm confused. You know what? I hate when zombies don't go for them. That always pisses me off. That's a streamer. Okay, good. She's infected. It'll actually help us. That might actually fuck them up. They're all in that shit. Take 
Da. That was ugly, but I don't care. I'm confused on... Oh, what's going on here? This is for fucking real. They're taking a lot of damage, and I don't know where the hell the helper is. I'm wasting hella supplies. Oh, I guess she's with us now. Okay. Great. Then get in, damn it. I'm gonna have to. Re that was very expensive, I'll admit. That was a super expensive way to kill some people. We gotta go. This is not worth it. We gotta go right now. She's definitely gonna get infected. Shit, get rid of it. Where is she, exactly? Where did she run to? I'm surprised we're smoking. We did not take that much damage. Is she in the vehicle? She's in the vehicle somehow. And we're taking, like, tons of damage even though we're using the back. I just can't believe we even saved her. And the way that we did it was not going in there and talking or even doing anything. My goal was just to grab her and go. Because the last time we did this mission, she just stood there and let... It was the same thing, though. She was literally just standing there and letting the zombies eat her away. Like, maybe instead of having tracer rounds, which is okay, it's fine, but we could have made the AI just a little better. Oh, well, apparently that was a major accomplishment. Take it. I kind of wish you could, like, really friendly enclaves like that, you could do things at. Like, it'd be cool if they had their own facility slots. They actually, I, they're going to make them, like, more alive in Update 28, but that makes me think, hey, they should probably be doing base stuff too, right? They should have their own workshop. There should be some randomly generated like stuff based upon what they are. So they should have an infirmary because they're doctors. I got it. I got to get before we do this and we can repair this truck. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's just going to be like that. All right. I think it's like that every time I record. Let's just go all the way up here. I know it's ridiculous, but we need to start changing the layout of our outpost for one. We need to repair this uh, vehicle. We need to repair the gun. Even though we do have another one laying around. We do have another one laying around, but still. And then <clears throat> we need to uh, put a scent blocker on, go kill a heart. Let's just try to run a line. Man, there is so many hearts down there, actually. Holy crap. I didn't even notice. That is so much. So, so very much. Okay, then. Well... It's too bad we ended up using so many bloater gas bombs. And I guess outposts are going to actually have lights on them, which is going to be really cool. Deposit these med kits. Deposit the claymore. Wish that we would have used more. See, that's too expensive to me. I, you know, I'm, I feel dumb. Whatever, we did it now. But I should have just passively repaired it and grabbed the, the alternative. So long as you have two guns, it doesn't even really matter. I feel fine on our ammo count. Loaded gas bombs is not great. I need an igniter. We almost went into this shit without an igniter. Firecrackers is fine. Uh, let's pop this. Then pop this. We, we're not immune to blood plague anymore, which is good. But damn, we do have a lot of resistance. I just thought we had so much it was broken. But whoops. You're tra full transparency. A couple of those characters did have it clicked. I don't know why, because that was not my in intent. Okay. There's no point in this playthrough if I Plains, cheat all the way. 
just more of a way for me to save a hell of a lot of time by changing things up a bit. Okay, we're good. Uh, we got an igniter. We have meds and stuff. Yeah, let's go. Let's go start killing some hearts. There's not a mission out there that I know of, right? Well, there's the Denzians, but uh, I could give a shit. <clears throat> if, if there's time, I'll do it. Most of this is looted. Need to go back for the wizard van, too. I gotta remember that. Just to see. That was pretty successful, though. We just took out a hostile enclave with four-plus people in it. <clears throat> Granted, we used the strongest thing in the game, arguably. Be careful of plague zombies around here. One of the ways they could probably nerf the pyro launcher without ruining it is just make it really, really loud. And we need to loot hearts. I can't forget about that. We definitely need to run through and grab all the hearts. Well, this place is just awful. One thing I wish, scent blocker was just a bit more reliable. Sometimes it's really, really fun and cool and you're like walking through the middle of them. Other times... They seem to spot you, no problem. So you gotta... I think that's the immunity phase, right there. I think it's almost down. Maybe not. That's a pop. Ooh, and then just sneak out, man. Is the secret just like not run? Like right now it's working exactly when it's fun. When it's like, oh, I can just literally walk by all these fucking things. That's freaking sweet. Not only is it powerful, but it's really cool. That's a human. That's the damn doctor. This shit loves to glitch up, dude. He's gonna die. Because what the game is up to right now. So I need to save and quit. <clears throat> that has been a very pernicious bug. We've lost multiple characters to that. It's been around a minute. We lost during our vanilla f finale and during the Afflicted Warlord. <coughs> we lost at least probably total four people to that. I think I have a, if If this goes three and done, I have enough. I might need to start opening up with some heavy weapons though. So I don't even know if they noticed me there, though. Like, they were looking like they noticed me, but... At the same time. There we go. Martial stories. That's gotta be... What we want. Which is some story. Ow! Fuck, man. I got set block on. What's going on in there? Why is that not engulfing that fucking thing? All right, well now I only got one. That's not good. Oh, sweet. We did it in three. Hell yeah. I put some fire in there and get the hell out. <clears throat> and cough our way straight to stardom I mean that's good that's two hearts that's definitely progress now I gotta go restock and even with plague immunity off thankfully again I apologize for that we have some very very nice immunity but I think I want to change characters I think I also need to save and quit so I am going to call it an episode that's a good start though good start